eight puppies just ran up to me. All these little massive puppies, dude. I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? All right guys, so literally, right now we're with Luke. We're leaving Eastern, that's Conrad's dorm up there. We're gonna go ahead, load up our stuff, hit the road. All right guys, what is going on? Hopefully it won't be the end of all YouTube videos right now because I'm bringing this camera out in the rain. God, it's so cold and rainy. Oh my God, that's ice. Please don't destroy my camera. Uh, all right, we made it. Let me go ahead and put this down. All right guys, so welcome to the first ever installment of the cutting slash prep slash we made it slash I don't even know series. Um, we literally, as you guys saw, just got back from Eastern. It's two o'clock right now and I never, ever, ever like sleep in past 12. So it was really good to get that sleep. Um, obviously at Eastern, you know, we weren't getting home till late. We were waking up late. I was sleeping on like a, this hard, cold, lonely floor for like four days. But you know, it's whatever. It was a lot of fun. My voice is like still gone, as you guys can possibly tell. And uh, yeah, so right now, like I said, it's about two o'clock. We're gonna go ahead and run to my local Target and go pick up some food because we're getting all the prep food today because today's Monday. So we're officially about 15 weeks out, roughly 15, 16 weeks out. Depending on what show I do, there's two shows that are pretty close to each other. Um, so depending on how I look. I'm going to get into that more tomorrow because tomorrow's um, video is going to be more of the whole entire plan and everything that's going to be going on. But anyways, we're going to go ahead, flip the camera, do that cool little thing where everything's like fastened by like multiply by like 8 or 16 or whatever time lapse does. And uh, yeah, let's go to Target. Alright guys, we just got back from the grocery store, Ooh. and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what I got today while I'm putting it away. I've never seen any YouTubers do it while they're putting it away, so we'll do refrigerator, freezer, cabinet. So first things first, I got my protein for the prep. Chicken, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is still gone. Um, chicken's going to be the number one thing as far as my protein source goes, as far as probably my main source of... Uh, uh, protein for my meals is going to be chicken. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna keep it really simple this prep. I'm probably gonna have this, and I'll show you guys all the stuff I got. But one thing I didn't get today that I probably will have a lot as well is fish. Um, I usually like doing like the tilapia or like salmon or something like that, but today I just kind of kept it more simple. So I got two packets of that, and then I got 93 to 7 ground beef. This is another one of my favorite things. It has natural occurring creatine, like I've said before. It tastes really good if you prepare it right. And the 93 to uh, 7 is going to be a leaner one. You could get 90 to 10 and even 85, 15 as well. It all depends on how your macronutrients are looking. For my macros, they definitely have switched last time from the last time you guys have seen me. Um, I'll, get, I'll get into that tomorrow. I don't really want to get into it this video, only because I'm trying to just get this basically like day in, the, day in the life, day of eating, something like that out quickly. Anyways, so another source of protein that I'm gonna have in the morning is going to be egg beaters. So I used to like doing whole eggs. These are just a little bit more simple. Um, just pour it right in, get in, pretty much ready to go. Especially as a college student, um, I feel like getting stuff prepared quickly is kind of the main goal as well. Then last but not least, let's go in the refrigerator are just some diced up mushrooms. I like putting these in a pan, putting some salt on it, and then preparing them, having them with chicken or beef and rice or potatoes, something like that. Not only do they add volume, but they actually add some flavor as well. 
Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, finish up in the refrigerator here. I'll show you guys what I got in the freezer. All right, guys, so the only thing that I got today that's gonna be going in the freezer is going to be this broccoli. Only because I literally never had vegetables, to be honest with you guys, but I thought this prep, I can add a little bit more volume considering my carbs are a little bit, little bit lower. Um, so these are gonna add volume. Um, they also have obviously micronutrients in there, so it's gonna be good for having, basically I can have this every single meal and be fine. It's very low calories and it's very filling as well. So that's all gonna be what I got for the freezer today. I'll show you guys what I got put away in my cat. Alright guys, so last but not least is what we got for the cabinets today, which is going to be these simple balanced organic bread, which I'm going to have in the morning with my eggs. And then I got a couple cans of these black beans. Once again, my carbs are pretty low, so I'm not going to be having that many. Most of my carbs will be coming pre and post workout, only for energy before the workout, and then obviously to help with recovery after the workout. Speaking of that, also my carbs are also going to switch depending on pre and post workout. I have complex carbs pre workout and simple carbs post workout. Another thing I got, which I'm just going to put right on the floor here, is just another big bag of potatoes. So with these, it's a cheap way to get some carbs in. It's also very filling and easy to make as well. You can put it in the oven, put it in the pan, also put it in the microwave even. If you jab it with holes and throw it in there for about roughly six minutes, you'll be good to go. And last but not least, we got more of this Minute Maid rice. Once again, guys, um, Adding meals quickly is another big goal of mine, so making them quickly, um, being able to eat them basically on the go is a huge goal of mine. So, got four packets of this, and then that's going to end it for the grocery uh, grocery run today. Right now, it's about 3.15, so we're going to go ahead and get our first meal of the day in today. Definitely really late to be getting the first meal in, but meal timing doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to count it as a fast. I'll show you guys what I'm eating. that don't we probably put that a little bit more up there we go cool all right guys so we got meal number one today which is going to be my post or post i haven't even gone to the gym yet i want to say it's post workout but it's actually pre-workout which is going to be one serving of lettuce and then 6.4 ounces of chicken one cup of rice and then a serving of black beans i've actually literally never like had this meal before so I'm going to be interested in uh, how it tastes, but basically it's going to be my prep. Very nice, simple, easy food, pretty whole, nutritionally wise. It's going to be good. Pretty excited. <laughs> Alright guys, what's going on? Um, we just got done at the gym. I was gonna record today's. Um, I should turn on these lights. There we go. It should be good. Um, I'm gonna. I was going to record today's gym session, but you know, to be honest with you, 
it's like I've been gone for about four days and I haven't worked out in three. And for you fellow YouTubers who know it's like uh, to record in the gym, it, it kind of gets you unfocused, even if you're just recording, you know, one set. Um, and, and today I had probably the best arm work I've ever had in my entire life, just knowing mentally that my prep started today. I also did cardio today as well. It's just very motivating to me. So sorry that I didn't uh, put any gym footage in today's video, but the following episodes to come will definitely have gym footage for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I thought it would be better just because I really want to focus, really kill it in the gym. And that's literally exactly what happened I, like i just mentally like it was just there like i this whole entire prep i literally told everyone because you know i know everybody at the gym like listen i'll say hi i'll say goodbye but you know during the gym you know don't talk to me because i i really want to focus i really want to put 101 percent so that way i can step on stage um and know that basically i put everything i had my heart and soul into this so Anyways, let me go ahead. I'll show you guys what we're working with now. We're about to go home and get a second meal in for the day. Like I said, I woke up really late today. Um, usually never happens, to be honest with you guys. It's I hate waking up late because I feel like the whole entire day is gone by and I gotta catch up on meals and like everything like that. But we got a post-workout shake, which is gonna be two scoops of optimum nutrition and protein, um, about 50... 48 grams of protein, I believe, something like that. I don't know. I'll show you guys my macros at the end of the day. But I'm going to go ahead, chug this real quick. I literally live five minutes from here. We're going to go home and get the second meal in for the day today. Like I said, I like I. if you guys saw the video yesterday, it's called Chasing Dreams. I literally want to thank you guys again for showing you guys support. Uh, we have like 105 subscribers now. Um, and I just literally, I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Like it literally just me, like literally I, I'm smiling because it just makes me happy, you know, so much knowing that people are showing support and believe in me. And like, that that's cool. That's really cool to me. And I'm gonna treat this like a family. And basically every video you have to treat it like you have a million subscribers. Cause honestly, as weird as it sounds, like every subscriber means so much to me. Even if I haven't met you, I know in the future, I'll be meeting you guys at Expo. So let's go home and get the second meal in for the day in. Currently, let's see if you can see that, 9.46 at night right now, we're getting the second meal in today, technically my third if you count the protein shake, but we have two servings of 1% cottage cheese, and then I showed you guys everything that went in here, basically the same meal from earlier, but with two servings of mozzarella cheese, only because for my macros I have to hit about, I believe 76 grams of fat, I don't know, like I said, I'll go over that all tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Um, but this is what I'm going to have, and then I'm going to go out, I think, with my friend, and then I'll show you guys my last meal for the night. Like I said, usually I'll get, like, anywhere between three to seven meals in, kind of depending on how the day goes. Like, usually when I'm at work, I'll usually have more meals than I would regularly do on a non-work day. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead, eat this. It's technically my post-workout meal, then I'll show you guys my last meal for the night. Okay. <laughs> What up? What up? How's it going? That you finna face down. I'll make a living if you pull with the face down. Skimmy, and let me tell you about my life. Painkillers only put me in a twilight. I'm pretty. Grace, you look, you look, she looked at the camera. She had to make it look like it wasn't there. What's wrong with you? Grace. Okay, everyone get back up. No, just go. Say goodbye. Alright, see ya. Peace out. Hi right, guys, so we are in the car. We literally, I got home probably about 30 minutes ago. You ever just like sit in the car and just think about life? Like, it's raining. It is a, what is it, a Monday night. Like, I don't know. I kind of like the rain. I like listening to the music and everything like that. But it's time to go ahead and get our last meal in for tonight. I need to start getting to bed early because school starts next week, college, my second semester. The sleep schedule is not going to work at all. Anyways, 
It's gonna last me a little. So we are finally home. It's about 2.08 right now. Everyone's sleeping. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and finish up today's day of eating. At least I'm getting to bed like two hours earlier than I usually do. i um, trying to get back on my regular sleeping schedule. I'm going to set my alarm for 10.30 tomorrow because I'll probably film tomorrow too as well. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for the episodes to come. Anyways, we have two ounces of chicken because my protein was pretty much taken up for the day. Broccoli and then two servings of potatoes with one serving of cheese to finish up or help finish up my fats because We're gonna go ahead. This is olive oil So kind of forgot with my new macros that my fats are about 30 grams higher than they usually are So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take two tablespoons right down the hatch. I've never done this before um, I'm sure it's not that bad to be honest with you guys, but let's See here. All right, right. Whew. It's got bad, not gonna lie. Whew. This has just a, <laughs> a strong taste to it. So it's honestly not that bad. Actually, yeah, it was kinda bad, I'm not gonna lie. But so, we go ahead and got our two tablespoons of olive oil in today. Tastes kind of weird. But yeah, two tablespoons of olive oil. We go ahead and finish this meal up, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's going to conclude today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys for more videos to come. The next video, or the video after that, we'll be talking more in depth about my show and my plans and exactly how I'm approaching it nutritionally. And yeah, pretty excited. I'll let you guys uh, more into details. So, see you guys next video.